Let's see how you would install the VanBits Battery Master in the new Orion XS DC to DC charger from Victron. Hey folks, my name is Nigel and in this video we're going to be installing the Battery Master into the Orion XS. So here I've got our workshop Orion XS. These are still on pre-order as we speak now as this video is made, but I thought I would do a video to show how I would actually install a Battery Master into the Orion XS. So let's jump into it. So to start off with, I've got a few examples here of the type of scenarios or circumstances that you might find yourself in. So if we go from left to right, on this side we've got a 16 millimeter wire with a four-sided ferrule in the terminal. The middle we've got a 16 millimeter wire with no ferrule. The right hand side we've got a 25 millimeter wire with no ferrule. And so we're going to try and put the battery master into each of these just to demonstrate whether it's possible and wh whether you can actually do it. And whilst we're doing that, I'll show you how you would actually wire a battery master into this new Orion XS. So if we start off by pulling out these grub screws slightly. Okay, so as you can see here, got our conductors all the way to the end of those terminals. So now we're going to put the actual wires from the battery master in here and see how they fit in. So the 16 millimeter with the ferrule fits in no problem, as we can see here. Just have to hold those slightly to be able to not have them pull out. Get that in. Tug test, we're good. The 16 millimeter without a ferrule, obviously there's so much room in this that I wouldn't expect this to be an issue. As we can see, perfect. And 25 millimeter without a ferrule, Let's see if we can get this in here. Proving to be a little bit more of a challenge. Oops. I was trying to pull this wire out just slightly, not all the way, to give myself a little bit more room in there. See, here's the problem with not using a ferrule is it's not too difficult to get a wire in when it's clean, clean crimp. Uh, a clean clean cut, but as soon as you've worked it a little bit, it's not as easy. So in this circumstances, this is the challenge with using a 25 mil wire, is that you might land up actually struggling to get it back in here. On a clean install where you don't have any of the wires flailing all over the place, it's not too bad to get in here, but as soon as you've messed that up, then it's a bit of a challenge. So let's try here with the new clean cut on this wire. Okay, got that started. Now we're gonna see if we can squeeze in. Battery master is in there. And yeah, that looks fine. So I've bared a bit more of the insulation off this wire than what is actually necessary. I can see that the actual copper is right at the end of that terminal. And when we try to tighten that down, we've got the battery master in and it's clamped in nice and tight. But that gives you an idea of how you would actually wire the battery master into the Orion XS. So your brown goes into the uh, connects to your engine battery so that's your incoming on the XS. Black is the common earth or common ground and the red is your outgoing or the connection to your leisure battery positive. So very simple, easy, and we absolutely love the Battery Master. Swear by these, we install these regularly, sell them a lot in our store, and uh, really like that product. It's a really good solution for keeping your engine battery topped up. So there we go, folks. The Battery Master in the Orion XS. It is possible even with a 25 mil wire. It just takes a little bit of work to get it into the 25 mil wire, but there you go. Hopefully that's been helpful. If you want either of these products, they're both on our, on our store. The Orion XS is still on a pre-order sale, so grab yourself a bargain before they are in stock and available and that pre-order price drops away. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.